Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? Oh, what's up guys? You know, I was just playing some COD Mobile because I'm still waiting for Diablo Immortal. So I guess, why don't we do a Reddit review? What is up my friends? My name is Echo and welcome back to the Echo Gaming Diablo channel where we look at Diablo Immortal, what we have coming, what we know, and in today's case, what you guys are saying over on Reddit. Remember guys, I always do pay attention to what you say in the comment section and in my Discord server, so make sure you come through my server, link down below. Make sure you come through my comments, you could do that down below, and I will definitely be taking a look at it, engaging with you guys, and you know, possibly you could be shaping the future content on my channel or maybe even you'll have some of your comments pop up in a video. I get the feeling you may see some of your comments from previous videos inside of this one. So get ready for it. So the first post we have right here is a humor post waiting for anything. Blizzard, where are thou? Well, I get the feeling that today we're gonna have a lot of people waiting for Diablo Immortal. We're at that mid-year mark. We want the game. I know, I too want the game so badly that I've taken up to playing Battle Royale games. This one here, yeah, we're gonna give it a five out of 10. It's not great, but not bad. It's just truthful. The next one is a question and it reads, is the game being developed by NetEase entirely and Blizzard is just going to publish the game? The answer to that is no. NetEase did do some of the creating of the game. I, it, the best way that I can describe it is they laid the groundwork for the game and then Blizzard is coming in and refining it to make it a Blizzard game. It's like getting a template for something and then making that template into something that's com something completely brand new, just running off of a certain template that's there. Now, obviously it's not a template they didn't take another game and just start changing it to make it their own this has been built from the ground up but NetEase provided that base that beginning of the development and when NetEase said that their they thought the game was finished a year ago and the whole community went crazy saying well where is the game NetEase said it was done you know 12 months ago really maybe it was done to the eyes and the thoughts and the minds of people over at NetEase, but it was not done compared to or in the minds of Blizzard. It was not refined enough. It wasn't a good enough game yet. And maybe if they would have released it back then, the game would have tanked because it wasn't ready and because the game would have been like every other action RPG out there where you pay for power and all that stuff, which we don't want. So I'll wait. I will wait the extra year or year and one month, year and two months. Here in three months. 2,000 years later. So that we can make sure that we get the game that we want. That's gonna last a lifetime. So to answer the question here, no, NetEase is not entirely building this game. Six out of 10 on the score. When do you think Diablo Immortal will be fully released? Hmm, late 2020, I, I have to vote here. There's 203 votes. Let's see where everyone votes on this one. And um, hmm, I'm gonna say August 2020, at least in some, some type of alpha or beta. There we go. And whoa, 2050, really? Huh. Well, I will say, I think early 2021 is when the game is probably gonna be released to everyone, to the public, so you can all see it. But I think we're gonna get alpha or beta this summer, maybe next month. And to give that one a score, I love polls. I'm a sucker for polls. We'll give it a nine out of 10. I fear no man. But that thing, it scares me. No Diablo Immortal announcement at China Joy. Now I have to tell you, uh, I'm assuming a China Joy is a type of a convention, a gaming convention. I'm not 100% familiar with it because, well, I don't know, it's not something that is in my world. Let me know down in the comments below this video, what do you know about China Joy? What research have you done about it? Or have you ever attended this event or seen anything from the event? Let me know down below. This is the time right here where you guys tell me and engage in the content and that could be stuff that we talk about later on in another video. This one right here, obviously, we're gonna give it like a seven out of 10. It's obviously someone else saying that they're tired of waiting and they just hope that they hear something at this event. But I don't know when that event is. So we have our next one, which is an idea. Diablo Immortal should have a variety of difficulty. We all have our own preference. Some like playing on easy, some on hard. I feel like it's a great idea if Diablo Immortal have a variety of difficulty, like in Diablo 2. 
We had Normal, Nightmare, and Hell in Diablo 2. I think they should make a similar difficulty style to in Immortal so we don't have to complain if the game is too easy or too hard and we can choose the difficulty preferences. What do you guys think about that? What do you think? I mean, I feel like difficulty options are always good. For me, when I'm creating content in the beginning, I always like to play things on easy so I don't have to focus, especially when like live streaming. So my focus doesn't have to be on point 100% in the gameplay and I can engage in other things that I need to do. But then I like to challenge myself on those harder difficulties. So what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you feel that there should be multiple difficulty options inside of Immortal? Good question. Nine out of 10. And we have another speculation. Diablo Immortal will surely be announced in China Joy 2020. And again, they're talking about this event. Is it going to be announced at this event? And in the responses to this here, guys, a lot of people are saying, we don't understand why Blizzard is just not announcing this game, telling us where it's at. And in their defense, not that I'm trying to defend them, but let's think about it from their perspective. Every time they tell people or tell our community about Diablo Immortal, they get backlash. It used to be, this game sucks, it's not Diablo 4, we don't want anything on mobile. It's converted into, this is taking so long, this is going to be a pay-to-win game, it's made by netties, it's going to be trash. So if I were someone who would always try and inform, or who would try to inform a community about something, and every time I did it, I would get trashed on for doing it, I would think about holding back, and I've said this before in a video, and then just slapping everyone in the face with an amazing number one best award winning game. That is what they need to do to shut everyone up. Yes, we're waiting and the wait sucks. I can't stand waiting for Immortal. I've wanted to play this game for a year or play it again since BlizzCon 2019. But we can't play it right now. But most of us guys, to be honest, whether we're pissed off that the game isn't here yet or whether we're calm and patiently waiting, the majority of us are going to play it when it comes out. And if they can give us a game that is so good, so engaging and so hooking, well, they got what they wanted, a community playing their game, supporting the Diablo brand. I'll feel good about that. All right, another poll with 564 votes. This poll, we're going to give a 10 out of 10 to. I, I realize I forgot to give a score to the last one, but it's okay. This one here, I never bought an iPhone app before or a phone app before. We don't need to really read it. The point is most things on phones are free right now, right? Most games are free and they make you pay for microtransactions in the game. Again, we've talked about this. We don't want it to be for power or abilities. We want it to be just for progression or for skins and things like that that don't impact the game. So if Diablo Immortal released and it costs money, will you buy it? It's not fair for me to answer this question, although I'm going to, to see how everyone voted. For me, I have a YouTube channel focused on this game, so I'm going to buy it no matter what it costs, if it were not free. So of course, so I'm going to answer right here. Uh, less than 20, yes, less than 10, yes, yes or no. Okay, yes, I would buy it no matter what. We're going to put our vote in and see how everyone else votes. Okay. Uh, 200 people said yes, which is surprising. Now, the good thing about a game, if you purchase it, is there's no in-game microtransactions, or there shouldn't be. 155 people said no. Less than $10, 160 said yes. Less than 20, 48 said yes. So for me, like I said, I would. I'm actually surprised to see how many people said they would buy it, because we talked about this in a previous video as well. The best thing about free-to-play games and what people in the mobile gaming space, in the app stores, all of us that consume games on mobile, very easy for me to pick up my phone and say, oh, what's this game? Let me try this game out. And I play it for 10 minutes. If it sucks, I just delete it. It's gone. It cost me nothing. It just took a little bit of my time. That is the culture on mobile devices. And I love that. I love it. And I would rather pay for things throughout the game and get the game for free than pay $65 for a game. And that's more like console PC prices. You know, a mobile game, if the game costs 10 bucks, I'd rather get it for free and pay for stuff in game than pay 10 bucks. If we were talking about a game other than Diablo Immortal, just for my case, because it's not fair to say, because I have this YouTube channel. So I'd buy it either way. So interesting stuff. That's going to get a 10 out of 10 for today. That question is the number one thing we've seen so far, but we're not done. We have to look at more. And I want to remind you guys that, you know, you could always come through my other social networks. If you don't want to come through the Discord for some strange reason, because we've got an amazing community there. If you don't want to be a commenter below, but you want to be up on what I'm doing, you can come through my Twitter. You can come through my Instagram. Both of those are linked down below and I'm active regularly on both. The Instagram is more casual stuff. It's about gaming, but also about what I'm doing in my family life. And the Twitter, we keep that more focused on gaming, both Clash of Clans stuff from my first channel and Immortal stuff from this one. I'm rambling. Let's move on.
I only wish one thing for Diablo Immortal. Please make the game more bloody and gruesome. I'm not asking too much, but just add bloodstains and have at least Diablo 3 levels of gore, please. And now, I could see this being a concern because, you know, it's a mobile game. You want to attract the masses of people. You don't just want to get the hardcore people. So they may tone down the blood and tone down the gore. If they decide to do that, I would like to see an option like Mortal Kombat does, like gore on or gore off. I would obviously have gore on all the time, but uh, yeah, that's a good idea. That's not a bad idea because we wouldn't want to see them soften it up and powder up this game and not make it really lie in hell where we're used to seeing and where we want to see Diablo Immortal. So, good idea, nine out of 10. Ah, there's China Joy, July 31st through August 3rd. That's cool. Uh, yeah, that's a good time. I would love to see something said then. Do I think they're going to say something then, though? Honestly, I don't. I don't think they're gonna. But man, I hope so. I hope I'm wrong there. Ah, another poll. Unfortunately, it closed and I didn't get to get my vote in, but so many polls out there. And what Diablo games have you played so far? Complete new to the Diablo franchise. No one has played anything, which is gonna be a lot of people that are playing Diablo Immortal. Maybe they don't have PCs, consoles, they're mobile gamers exclusively. They're finally gonna get a taste of Diablo Immortal, which is sweet. Since Diablo 1 is the majority of the people, which is crazy to me. That game is old. I can't believe that that many people have played since Diablo 1. Since Diablo 2 is 105, since Diablo 3 is 102. Only Diablo 1 was one person. Only Diablo 1 and 2, which means they gave up the game after Diablo 3. Interesting stuff. There were 413 votes on that one. Not a bad one at all. And we're going to finish off on this one. Would you like to have a cow level in Diablo Immortal? Yes, of course I would. I love the secret cow level. I have a great video out on it as well. If you didn't see it, it's on the channel. Check it out. Bring us the cows in Diablo Immortal. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I ask you to engage with it in some way with a thumbs up, with a comment or something. And if you made it this far in the video, hashtag made it in the comment section. I want to know who my OGs are. I want to know who's here until the end of the video. If it's you, let me know. You will hold a special place in my heart. I hope to see you guys over on my Discord server and in the comments and well, anywhere else that you want to come hang out. But we're out of here for today. Make sure you check out these videos before you go. Remember to be safe, guys. And be good. Oh, oh, oh.